Have you ever wondered how you could eat a meal in an Amish home? I'm going to explain how to do that in this video and what you should expect. Now, definitely experiences can vary. First of all, I should say the best way to eat a meal in an Amish home is to make friends with an Amish family and hopefully get invited for a meal at their home. And that's going to be your most authentic experience, of course. But if you'd still like the experience of eating food prepared by an Amish family in their home or in a, you know, in a building on their property, there are definitely ways to do that. Now, for many years, Amish families in different communities have been providing meals for the public. For a long time, this was not really advertised. It was more of a gray area thing as far as licensing to do this goes. More of these meal opportunities have become more public. You can actually arrange these through a number of companies uh, who act as go-betweens. So usually this is done on a group basis. You need a, a minimum number of people. For instance, in Ohio, one company does this for a minimum of five people. Some might be eight people. Depending on the situation, this may be in the actual home of the Amish family or maybe in a special building that's kind of set up in the area. It could be in the basement. What's in the meals and what's the price? Just to give you a couple examples. So this is a, from the Lidditz Record Express uh, describing the meal prepared on the farm of Samuel and Ruth Lapp. Meals would include two meats, usually pot roast with gravy, plus baked chicken or chicken pot pie, mashed potatoes and homemade noodles, vegetables from Ruth's garden, home baked bread with fruit preserves made from the farm harvest, a special strawberry rhubarb drink. Desserts would be cakes, pies, and ice cream. Another example describing meals arranged by the Amish Heartland Company in Ohio, homemade bread and peanut butter spread, a garden salad, roasted chicken, roast beef, mashed potatoes with brown butter, gravy, green beans, Amish noodles, hot and cold beverages, and assorted pies. Uh, they also have Amish pizza meals. So but generally these tend to be these hearty kind of traditional Amish, Pennsylvania Dutch meals that you kind of picture when you think of the Amish. Even though that's not always what the Amish eat, uh, often that's not what the Amish eat. They don't always eat so heavy. So what's the price here? Generally I see pricing tends to be in the $20, $30 range. Um, maybe closer to $30, uh, although I think it can go above that. You know, you're paying not just for the meal here, but also for the experience. And people are curious, you know, what's that experience like? From the feedback and comments I've followed over the years, it seems like generally people are pleased with this, these experiences, although that can definitely vary. Just to give you some examples here, uh, one commenter from the website, Carol, talking about dinner in the Illinois community at Arthur. She said, I've had dinner in an Amish home twice in the Arthur community. Both times were with my church women's group and our husbands. Arrangements were made by phone through an outdoor phone set up where one left a message and someone returned the call. So that sounds more like it, more of the gray area that I was talking about earlier. She says that the Amish women serving us were very reserved and didn't interact with us very much. And she also says in Ohio, she said once when we were on a bus trip to the Amish area of Ohio, the group of us ate in an Amish home. The hostess was much more outgoing than the Illinois ones. After eating, the three sons of the family sang several songs for us. They weren't extremely talented, but very enjoyable. All three experiences were good. Another person, uh, Lucinda, wrote about having a dinner, this would be in 2019, arranged through the wood shop in Arcola, Illinois. It's that same community. Our hosts were a very friendly couple, and we talked with them for a while after the other guests left. I asked if this was a typical meal, and Elizabeth was appalled at the idea. A normal dinner was far simpler. So there you go on the type of food served. You know, I remember the first meal I ever ate with an Amish person. It was actually in this Illinois community way back in 2004. And I'm, I was selling books and an Amishman had invited me in and he happened to be eating lunch. And I was going to show him my books. He said, you know, have a sandwich with me if you like. And he kind of made a comment about this is our simple food. And it was just a little kind of, I don't even know if he had any meat there. It was almost like a BLT type thing. I mean, without the B, <laughs> I think he had like lettuce, tomato, some cheese. So Amish don't always eat like this again. Some other experiences. Here's another one. And she writes that a group from our church went to eat at an Amish family's home outside of Belleville, Pennsylvania. The Mr. and Mrs. and their teens served us family style. And one of the boys made hand-churned ice cream. That sounds pretty good. There was room at the table for all of us to sit inside their lovely home. A wonderful evening, but I believe this is by word of mouth and reservations only. 
So those are all pretty positive. How about one that's not as positive? Commenter going simply by Jay wrote this in 2017 that while visiting Lancaster County, I tried a dinner in an Amish home. It was a strange experience. I can't say the food was very fresh or good, which surprised me. We had the green bean casserole made with canned soup and the mashed potatoes were odd. Maybe fake or over mashed or both with a bright yellow butter. The strawberry pie was definitely made with gelatin with an unnatural color, and so did the canned pickled veggies seem odd. And they served us coffee mates, not cream. So I think this person expected very natural ingredients, which I can understand. Um, you know, when you're going to eat with the Amish, that's kind of what we imagine, what we picture. And I think for a lot of families, that is the case. But, but there were some positive notes. The standout was the peanut spread. Yum. So good, I can't believe how unnatural the ingredients are said to be. Okay. <laughs> but then the person says, I don't know why it was so good, but everything else was a poor attempt and an old Betty Crocker recipe collection. And also, the family was not exactly friendly. They would not break bread with us and were somewhat rude, but they charged quite a bit, that's for sure. They treated us like aliens. Although, in a sense, I hated the experience, it was unique in a way. So that person didn't love their experience. Finally, one other experience. This is Alice Mary writing in 2018. She wrote that I've had the pleasure of eating at two Amish home-based eateries in the Shipshawana, Indiana area in the past few years. Both times, I was on a bus tour, and our group of approximately 40 or so was the only one at each place at the time. So there again, you see like one experience is describing eating there with the family in the home, and then obviously this group of 40 is not going to be sitting around the Amish family's regular dinner table. Alice and Mary continues that it was kind of intimate and we were encouraged to ask questions about anything Amish. We also walked away with homemade Amish peanut butter and I believe a small loaf of bread. Mothers and daughters and some friends served the meal. At the second place, Dad Grandpa was there to give us a little history of his acreage and businesses. A lot of land. This was clearly a wealthy Amish family. In any case, you can see there, you're going to get a variety of experiences here and a couple ways of arranging this, either formally through one of the companies that handles this kind of meal or informally, you know, word of mouth. You may have to call, leave a message and, you know, hear, you know, hear back from someone to kind of set this up. I know of businesses that do this in at least half a dozen communities. I will put some of those contacts as I have them in the description of this video. I hope this is useful for you if you'd like to have this experience. Again, it is an experience, so it is a meal, and it's, um, you know, it's a chance to have some sort of interaction with an Amish family on their property. As you saw there, some people may be more talkative and willing to interact, and others not as much. So, hope that put points you in the right direction if this is something you'd like to do. Let me know in the comments if you've had any experience like this, having a meal in an Amish home either arranged in this way or just with you know Amish friends or acquaintances that you might have. If you liked the video, hit the like button. I appreciate everyone watching and I look forward to talking to you soon.